Hello everyone and welcome back to a brand new video from Bird1. Today we're going to talk about Ethereum switching from proof of work to proof of stake and all its complications with it and for miners it's pretty bad in the future. So first of all proof of work is these. These people that are currently mining on the Ethereum network. So people are using GPUs at the moment to go ahead and mine the blocks. They get rewarded five coins if they find the right answer and people are co confirming the blocks every time when they do. So what is going on here? People are just mining, wasting a lot of energy, Vitalik Buterin says, and I want to go green and economic and have a blockchain that don't use power. So people that have spent hundred thousands of dollars on mining hardware are just gonna be thrown out and they have nothing left so what what will go different here proof of stake will be something totally different it is uh, people that hold the coins like for years they will get paid for keeping their coins they get some sort of interest so let's say you hold 1000 ethereum and you're a really rich person you will get 10 coins every year and that's that's it or maybe 100 coins i'm not really sure how that's going but if you hold the coins you get money next up you can stake your coins on the blockchain if you stake right you get more coins if you stake wrong you lose all your freaking coins so what's next up um you will have to go ahead and support really rich people, let's say, because they hold all the Ethereum. And I'm not really sure proof of stake just seems to be wrong in my eyes because all the miners that support Ethereum will be thrown out. You can sell your hardware. I think the hardware is going to be so cheap unless people switch to Ethereum Classic and Zcash. But, you know, I'm not really sure what the point is of proof of stake but he just wanted to go green instead of uh, mining with millions of megawatts of GPU power and he just wants to go and have people spend their ethereum so there's no ethereum gonna be created anymore so we have two ways also to go with ethereum first of all um, the price can go up because no coins can be produced anymore by miners as fast as then and the only way to get new coins is from holders or stakers, but that's going to be small amounts. So the coin can be like billions of dollars in a few years or it's going to crash out because nobody is like, and uh, I'm, I'm going to pass with Ethereum this time. And if people switch to Ethereum Classic, the price is going to go down as well. If people switch back to Bitcoin, it's going to drop down as well. So we're not sure how it's going to go. But let's say a really rich person says like, hey, I see a really good opportunity here and he buys like all coins. Well, then the price is going to uh, raise skyrocketing and he would definitely make even more money out of it then. But of course, money makes money. And I think that's the point of proof of stake. So people with a lot of money will make a lot of money. So I'm not sure how this is going to work out. But this is from the miners pers perspective for us, for this channel. Um, we need to go ahead and switch to Ethereum Classic because Ethereum Classic supports proof of work until the last day. So uh, they even uh, wrote a little post on their website and it says as a miner it's your best interest to support Ethereum Classic because Ethereum Foundation is going to abandon its miners very soon. It's going to be February 2017 as I read in a lot of forums. Switching to experimental proof-of-stake model. Ethereum Classic will continue employing robust and time-tested proof-of-work security model, rewarding miners for ensuring the future of the original chain. They will stick with the Ethereum original chain, and that's so beautiful. I, I'm, I'm even considering going to Ethereum Classic again and uh, mine for them later on, but I'm not sure if Ethereum is going to be very, very... Uh, high in price so I still hold 28 ethereum in my wallet at the moment and of course I need to test it out for the video in the future like if proof of stake is gonna work out so I'm gonna save up some ethereum like 50 or 60 maybe and I'm gonna see how much profit I can make with that and compare it to the miner of course because it's really really weird for people that have no 
miners they just can buy coins and make money so it's really i'm not sure what is going on here how people can make money out of it it, it seems to be pretty uh, unreal to me but who is gonna support the if ethereum virtual machine um what is gonna go ahead and and do all the byte codes and all the calculation in the smart contracts is your wallet going going to do it on your phone is my battery gonna run out of it i'm not sure they will have to put their own servers online or something it's gonna be really really a long long shot on ethereum this time but i'm not really sure if if i should keep my coins or sell them i'm really doubting about it because it can go two ways you know it can go up or down nobody knows so i think this was it for today it's i think it's gonna be a long video now but i hope you guys enjoyed the video see you guys in the next one